Fast cars that look fast are cool, and slow cars that look fast are fun as hell to make fun of. But you know what really makes me smile? When some brad in a supercar gets absolutely thrashed by a friggin' station wagon. That's right, boys and girls, it's time for sleepers. Let's get into it. First up is a car you already know about which means it's not really technically a sleeper to guys like you and me. But there'd be pitchforks if I didn't mention it. Back. I warn ya. It's the Impala, but comes with a manual and is way faster thanks to its Corvette-inspired V8. And unlike the other boring-looking four-door sedan, the SHO, the Chevy SS sounds truly amazing. Chevy canceled it because they're idiots. No, really, they made this car that is like what everyone always says they want. Told no one, then named it the super confusing SS, which is a trim level on a lot of their other cars. Regardless, it is the de facto sleeper. And while it's not really my cup of tea, I still nod knowingly whenever I see one. And before we get into a super sleeper, today's sponsor, Off The Record, fights tickets and misdemeanors for drivers across the country. When you book a case with Off The Record, you're matched with an experienced lawyer who handles your case from start to finish. Off The Record has a 97% success rate and offers their clients a full refund if they're not able to keep the ticket off the client's driving record. So. Go online to offtherecord.com or download their app and use code IDEAL10. And do it today, because once you register and put in the code, you'll get 10% off your first case, which you can use anytime in the next three years. So click the link down in the description below to lock in 10% off. Now back to the sleeper show. Oh man, is that a manual station wagon? Someone alert the old farts over on Reddit. Cause I found the holy car. To most people, it's just a stupid station wagon. It's not just a station wagon. It's a Volvo. It's not even the cool Volvo. So you line up in your Del Slow, <clears throat> Del Sol, and think you're gonna smoke this old lady. And she absolutely wrecks you. That chonky wagon has over 300 horsepower. It's all wheel drive, and it goes <laughs> as it gaps your sad ride. And what's worse, they paid less for it than you did for your Honda. Emotional damage! Hey guys, remember Buick? I mean, I know I do, but I'm old. I bet some of you don't even know they still exist. But it turns out they do, and are still making cars. They're almost exclusively only owned by people in China, and confused college kids who received it as a gift when their grandfather had their license taken away. Weirdly, they're still up to their old GNX tricks with the current Buick Regal GS able to put down more than 300 horsepower through a surprisingly nice nine-speed automatic. It's fast, in other words. Which is good, because the sooner it's out of my sight, the better. Ah, GMC Typhoon. One of the OG weird, why is this thing fast cars? Based on the pretty popular Blazer, it's a little SUV that General Motors really made and sold to the public, with a giant ass turbo under the hood. So get this, once upon a time, the Typhoon and its sibling, the S10 based Cyclone, were the fastest quarter mile cars GM made at the time. And that includes the Corvette. This boxy little SUV was a full second faster zero to 60 than the Corvette, which means it's still fast by today's standards. Look at this thing. It's the car equivalent of a plain bagel without cream cheese. But it's hiding a secret, because this is the Ford Taurus SHO, which stands for super high output. And today's flavor of cream cheese is a twin turbo V6, cranking out 365 horses, which begs the question, why didn't they put that engine in the Mustang instead of the useless Cologne V6? I guess we'll never know. Do you ever wonder what would happen if your boy Trav was in charge of the Dodge Ram development? I'd probably do something stupid like drop a Viper engine into a big old truck. Well, that's exactly what the boys at the SRT division did with the SRT10 Ram. So you're driving around 
You see some person and you assume it's just another construction worker in an old Dodge. Yet suddenly, you're staring at the taillights because it just ran the sprint to 60 in less than five seconds. And you thought trucks were dumb, and they are. But at least this one's really fast. Quick, get your pitchforks. I have a bad word for you. Hybrid. <laughs> yeah, I feed on the hatred. And yet, the hybrid RAV4 Prime, one of those cars that's not really a crossover or an SUV, is actually really stinking fast. 300 horsepower forces it to 60 in under six seconds, which is frankly amazing for a car I wouldn't be caught dead in. Do you think a Honda Accord is fast? Of course not, right? Do you think they're just slow and boring? Well, you're goddamn wrong. The V6 six-speed manual Accord is one of the best driving Hondas ever made. Not only is it fairly fast, but the six-speed is truly a work of art. Now, I know you're not gonna go out and buy one. You're gonna go buy an old beat-to-crap Miata. But if you get the chance, take a drive in the weirdly sporty, yet still super boring, Honda Accord V6. You'll be a little surprised. <laughs> Honestly, on paper, the Flex seems stupid. It's a giant SUV without the actual SUV part, but that makes it the perfect vehicle for having a party in the back of, which is why you have probably never heard of it. <laughs> What's confusing as hell is that Ford stuck a massive EcoBoost V6 in it, which means that this all-wheel drive Mormon mobile can scoot. Like, it beats the base Mustang off the line. Which makes me wonder, what the F is up with Ford? They can make a fast little BS sedan and a fast giant people hauler, but always seem to be playing catch up in the muscle car game. All right, here's one that's gone from being boring to being kind of retro cool. That's not the point. The point is that it doesn't look fast. In fact, if you ask me, it's one of the slowest looking cars on the list. And that includes the minivan, which we haven't gotten to yet. It's just sort of a fat, long 90s sedan. It's what I refer to as a coffee after dinner car, which is why it's sort of crazy to learn that it has the legendary Chevy 350 small block V8 driving the rear wheels. That's some serious drag racing shit. Alright Trav, now you've really lost it. Look, I get it, but get this. The Honda Odyssey. What the fuck, man? You know, the minivan that's literally a stand-in for every joke about becoming a boring person has VTEC. Which means that, and this kind of hurts to say, but a new minivan is faster than a lot of actual enthusiast cars, including all but the newest Miata and the 86 twins. I feel dirty after that one. I guess that's kind of the fun of a sleeper though. It's always what you don't expect. What a twist. All right, people, it's honorable mention time. Why? Because you can't actually buy it. But good God, I wish we actually lived in a world where the Alfa Romeo 164 Pro Car was mass produced. All right, so here's what they did. They took a stupid average car, you know the type, front wheel drive, boring, plastic, meh, and made it a tube chassis, mid-engine, V10 rear drive race car with, I shit not, over 600 horsepower. In 1988, before they even knew that cars could make that much power. It's absurd and completely wild, and I'm here for it. You want to know what auto journalists complained about when the Mazda Speed 6 came out? It was confusing because it looks like a crappy four-door, but drives like a friggin' rally car. They just couldn't understand why Mazda would make a nearly 300 horsepower all-wheel drive commuter. But my God, is it a nice car if you want something that doesn't stand out at all. It's a WRX without the scoop or the wings, and frankly, a less assuming badge and a way better interior. And if you want to tune these things, it's really similar to a Ford EcoBoost under the hood. Pretty much the same as that new fancy pants Mustang you hear about. Can you say the perfect platform for insane speed demons that still have a clean driving record? <laughs> Don't worry, uh, neither can I. And there we have it. The end. Which one of these do you like? Do you agree with me? What's your favorite sleeper that didn't make it into this video? I wanna know. Go check out some of the other videos we've done. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. <laughs>